Good morning, friends. Welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subby friend. And thank you so much to all of my friends who have been supporting me through my YouTube journey. It is so exciting. Thank you so much. So today I have a super fun project I want to share with you. So, you know, I was noticing people doing the DIY Cricut Silhouette weeding tools and they're using mechanical pencils. And I thought, oh, that's cool. But, you know, I want it to be sparkly. How can I do that? So this is what I came up with. I found these molds on Amazon for the pens and I will link it in the description. And these turned out adorable. So I used different sizes. I used some needles. And I used um, also some nails. Different ones that I've gotten from the hardware store. And I'll be, for myself, trying different sizes. And I put them in the, the mold for the pen. And made my Cricut tools and these really turned out so so good I'm so excited I hope that you like them now this one has urban cowboy um, urban cowboy and then a little bit of gold mixed in it so this one I did not do on the video this one I did additionally as well as this one I did additionally. And then also I used needles in them. Careful, don't get epoxy on your little on your little needle top. And this one is also a needle. So you know I wanted to try different sizes. So these are just those um, you know, like from sewing kits with the little ball in the back of them. But these turned out so stinking cute. I'm like so excited. Now I'm going to let them, you know, cure for the full 72 hours before I start using them. But I will be adding these to my Cricut tools. And I'm really excited about it. And I like the fact that there are different ergonomic shapes in the pen molds. So if you um, like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. They are, it's definitely a lot of work to make video. So I appreciate the thumbs up. And as always, I attach the video of doing the project. And I hope you like it. I hope you have a blessed, blessed, blessed and beautiful day, friends. And I'll see you later. Bye. Hey friends, so today we are gonna make something that I think is so super fun. And I have these molds, I, they came in a pack of three. I got them from Amazon, I'll find them and link them if you're interested. So it's these three different packs of pen molds. And we are not gonna make pens with them. I bought these for the purpose of something else we are going to make some DIY weeding tools. I have, I have three nails or two nails and a safety pin just because I want different sizes. So the nice thing with this, you can do different sizes. Now I just take my pin or my nail and I put it in just like I were going to be putting in the pen but I do poke it through a little bit okay and I'm gonna do the same thing with my nails and because I've used these already I'm just trying to follow the same guide now one of the things that I did realize before I was trying to leave a lot more of the nail out but I realize it stops you know down here for the epoxy so you don't 
want to leave as much of the nail out because you want a nice um, covering of your nail or your pen or whichever you're doing. All right, so, and you could get different size and shapes of nails um, that work for you. So I'm gonna be using, get my hands off here, sorry. All right, so I am going to be using Mermaid Tails from Glitter Chimp, Girl's Best Friend from Glitter Chimp, and then this is a neon pink powder. It's from Glitzy Girl Glitter. Let me grab my gloves. Now, I also have some epoxy mixed, and this is my Pro Marine. It is mixed one to one. And if you can see, I don't know if you can or not, but it is sitting inside water because I like to put my epoxy in a warm water bath. I only let it sit four to five minutes. Now, if you do this for too long, your epoxy will get hard. I was watching something one time when somebody said, 20 minutes and I tried it just to see because I was like there's no way and let me tell you my epoxy when I pulled up my spoon it was a solid popsicle all right so now the other thing is be super careful because water and epoxy don't mix you don't want to get any of the water in your epoxy and I actually over poured this so that's why I had the um, little towels there let me put on new gloves because I did get some water on my gloves and I don't want to mess up my epoxy all right so I like to use a more shallow container when I am doing that just because I don't like to take a chance of my epoxy getting um, any water on it. So I'm gonna put some in here. And the reason why I do that, it definitely helps, um, you know, give a nice clear finish with your epoxy. All right, so on this one, I'm going to start with mermaid tails. I'm just gonna put some glitter in. So can I tell you guys, this is something I've been thinking about. I had a leadership conference yesterday um, because, you know, we've talked about this before. I'm a nurse, but I'm a nurse leader. And there was a couple of things that I was left with. And the first thing was the reminder that we all write our own story right? So no matter what happens in life, you know, sometimes you can't, you don't get to decide all the things that happen, you know, but you always get to decide how you're going to react to it, what you're going to do, and the story you're going to write for yourself. So we all have an opportunity. We write our own story no matter what. You know, people might have a part of that story, but ultimately we get to write it. And the other thing was about being happy and positive. You know, in these times we've all, you know, we've gone through so much lately, just the entire world, not just, not just my country, but the entire world, we've gone through so much and there's been so much negative out there. But the truth is, there is so much positive for us to be grateful for. There are so many good people in the world and there is a lot of goodness to be shared. You know, like there really is, like there's been such a focus on the negativity, but there's a lot of goodness. So 
I hope that you guys are having good things coming your way. And, you know, think about something good that's happened to you today. You know, so my son-in-law has been away for work and he's back now but while he was away I was staying with my daughter and you know I was so happy I woke up this morning to you know being there with my daughter and being able to get my grandson out of his bed like how awesome is that what is something great that happened to you today? Put in the comments something wonderful that happened to you. And I just really, I want to focus on happiness and positivity because I feel like that's so important, you know? All right, so I just really want to make sure that I'm getting down in there really well. And I ended up pushing the nail back a little bit because I want to make sure that the nail is sitting inside of the mold and inside of the epoxy, you know what I mean? So the one thing I have learned with these pens, like you can get this little bubble, kind of reminds me of doing medicine in a syringe. You know, like right here at the end, it's so easy to get this weird little bubble. And especially in this kind of weird shaped one. All right, so I think that's pretty full. Cool. We'll let that sit. And what I'll be doing, there's still a few micro bubbles, not too bad, but there's a few. So when I move it over um, to where it's a little bit more even, um, I will spray a little bit of alcohol on it. Now your alcohol, if you're spraying alcohol on your pieces, it has to be at least 92% um, because otherwise it's too much water and it will not um it won't do well okay so now i'm going to do the girl's best friend i love this girl's best friend it is one of my absolute favorites i always keep like three jars of it just in case like i run out and they're out of it so it's one of my all-time favorites. Okay, I'm going to just sort of push this up. I want to make sure that it's going all the way down in there. So I have these um, non-disposable stirring sticks and also a lot more of the non-disposable beaker cups, the silicone ones. And I got them off of Amazon. I'll put the link in in case you're interested. But I'm really trying to be better about, um, you know, not being wasteful. All right, so, and you just really make sure that you play with this down here on the top and that you're just getting the um, epoxy all the way in there. So this one, you know, I put a little extra in there. I knew that, 
but because on this one, I'm gonna be putting the pink mica powder in there, but I also wanted some of the girl's best friend to be in there. Although I do definitely think I have a little bit more epoxy made than what I need. But no worries, I will find something to put it in. Always do. I have some kitty cat keychains over there I can put it in. Did you guys see the video on those kitty cat safety keychains? Those things are so awesome. I'm making a bunch of them because I want to be able to give them to everybody. Like, they're great. All right, so now this one is our needle. So I'm gonna just put some in. Oh yeah, this mica powder with that girl's best friend. Oh, it's so pretty. So I'm just gonna... Let me see if I can just want to make sure that I'm getting it way down in there. Just sort of lift it up. And I feel like squeezing it, you know, a little bit up at the top here really seems to help get the bubble out. Do you see how much is down there now compared to just pouring it. And I want to make sure that the needle is not like to the side, you know, because it's a little bit um, softer than the nail, so it moves more. So I'm just making sure that it's covered super well on both sides. You know what I mean? All right, so now, put that in. I love this color, this is so pretty. The nice thing with that neon pink, you can, you know, sort of make it darker or lighter by how much you put in. Put a little bit more epoxy in here. Stir that up. I'm just, I'm a pink girl. I can't help it. I, I've always loved pink. And then purple. Pink is definitely, I also really love light blue, but pink is definitely my favorite. So I think I'm going to use the rest of this um, epoxy and do this color in some kitty cat keychain. So I'm going to save this. All right, so I'm going to move these over. I'll spray them to get rid of some of the bubbles and I will bring them back when they're done. All right, friends, I'll see you soon. So I'm ready to demold our Cricut tools. I did want to show you I made the safety keychains out of the extra epoxy, like I said. These are super cool. I did a video on them. I'll link it in case you didn't see it. I did get a little bubble in this one, but you know, whatever happens. Oh, this is gonna be pretty. I feel like demolding these is gonna be the most challenging. So it's one of the reasons I wanted to do it well, they were still a little soft because they're a little more pliable and I felt like getting them out would be easier. Yeah, all right. Oh, that's so pretty. 
Oh my gosh, that's so... On this one, maybe not filling it up completely to the top. So there's that one and it's got the needle in it and that's really quite secure. So this, do you see right in here? This is why I was just really trying to get that epoxy up in there. And so what I'm thinking is next time I do them, I think I'm going to put the epoxy in and then stick my my needle point in. Um, and it's so you know this is down in far enough, so like this isn't going to make any difference. But it would be nice to not have that. So this is so pretty. Look at this, and then I can weed. Ah, I'm loving it. Okay, gorgeous. So happy. Oh, this one weeds so much easier. I mean, demolds weeds, listen to me. Okay, so that's good. So on this one, I got a little bit of bubbling in here. But again, that's the same thing, like trying to get all of that in there. So I think if I put the epoxy in and then stick the needle in, I think that it will kind of give it like a push around there because it's it just it's like with a syringe you know that book well if you're not a nurse or diabetic or something but there's like this you know at the end of it I mean you want a tiny little bubble in there on a syringe to get your medicine all the way through but you get these big bubbles just because of you know the physics of it and um it's sort of weird but that is not going to interfere with my tool whatsoever and there's my weed oh look at this i'm so excited okay so these are super beautiful now this one haha <laughs> oh yay yay Yay, it's perfect. Wow, look at this. Ha ha ha. Oh my gosh, these are perfect. These are so cool. So I saw people doing them with, you know, making them out of mechanical pencils. And I thought, yeah, that's cool, but I want them to be sparkly. How can I make them sparkly? And then I saw these molds and I was like, oh yes, that's how I can make them sparkly. Okay, those turned out terrific. Awesome. All right, well listen friends, I hope that you enjoyed this video. We'll see you later. Bye.